During this tour, I'm forced to hunt a tricky pea field in high afternoon winds, and I had to use everything in my bag of tricks to get it done. The rest of the team is out spotting and are scrambling to put anything together for the next day. Mel and Jeff pound a bunch of snows in the morning, while bonafide gale force winds cut both afternoon hunts short and send our hunters scrambling for safety. This, you gotta see. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was 23 years ago. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. It's a really, it's a really tricky field. There's, there's broken bales everywhere. There's a puddle in it. We had a southeast wind that's where the birds are feeding close to the road, so we can't get too close to the road. And it's very undulating, and the wind's going to kick up and get stronger. So if we try to shoot them straight on, what's going to happen is the birds, even if I can get them within five or ten yards, by the time those doors open, the birds flare. It's a fading shot, hard for the hunters to shoot. Them. These guys are good shooters. I made a couple feed bands out where they were feeding heavy. I'm going to give them an opportunity to try to land at the top half of this hill. And I kept the spread quite narrow. Rather than being like 75 yards wide, I'm actually about 45 or 50. And we're actually put all the blinds stacked together. We're in, uh, in one of the legs. And I saw a flight of ducks come in and they approach almost perfectly. So I, I, I really think this is going to work. And what that does is I can let those geese get past us. They'll be looking for a place to land. We open the doors, and as they shoot, when they flare, they flare back through the hole or back through the zone. So that's always a good thing. And usually what they'll do often is they'll flare away from the decoys, which puts them closer to us. There's lots of specks here. But there's a bunch of snows and some ducks. So really we're banking on, on the snows and the ducks for these guys, and, and hopefully we get it done. See what happens. Should be good. Remember, heads down, guys. You gotta get down. There's no point in having those blinds set up if no one hides. Watch, watch your ducks out front. Ducks low, low, low. Be ready, be ready. Get ready, guys. Get ready, get ready. Hold tight. <laughs> get ready. Get ready, get ready. They're gonna hook. Get ready. Get ready, get ready. Kill those right there, guys. Kill them. Five, five, six. Nice shoot. Oh, here's ducks right here. Get ready, we're gonna go on these. They do it. <laughs> They're gonna finish right now. Get ready. Ready? Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Get these things right here, guys. Be ready, be ready, be ready. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Six. Left side. Left side, get ready. Ready? Right here, guys, get ready. Ready? Ready? Rip them, guys, they're in the hole, rip them. Three, nice. Hold tight, hold, 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 get ready, get ready. Get ready. Roll them, roll them, roll them. Nice shot, man. Kill these geese. Guys, straight up, straight up. Kill them. Perfect. Nice. Nice. We're running out of light. Right now, it's flight after flight after flight of ducks. So we know we're good on ducks, but uh, we want to see how many geese are going to pile up in here. Brad went to look at the other two targets, and so we'll be able to figure something out here in probably half an hour. get on it and see where it goes from there. It's not looking very good out there tonight, Mel. 
I know it, it's scrambly for sure. Yeah, and he wins. I don't know, but just don't feel good about it. Nothing's exactly where it's supposed to be. How many, how many birds you got in the other one? I'd say about the same. I'll go back and take another quick look. Between darks and, and snows. Yeah, yeah, it's, I'd say it's pretty close. I don't know, I don't have the ducks you got though. I well, that's that. That's it. There's a ton of ducks here. I had one percent of what was in here show up, so that's that. I, I just hope the boys have something for tomorrow morning because the texts were, you know, the boys. Are, I got a text from Brad said the mad scramble is on, which means they're stressed and and under pressure. So. You know, we, we dodged a bullet today, got some ducks for these guys and a few snows, and I know Jay shot all his darts for the other group, which is good, and I guess press forward, see what happens. It's good, good day. We're just deciding now that we're gonna side shoot them with lay downs or side shoot them with a big bush. We're side shooting with a big bush, we got a little bit more work to do tonight because we gotta get some trees but uh, we're just I'm picking Brad's brain and he's helping me out tonight so we'll get her done it's not gonna be a problem one way or the other we're, we'll get her done these guys like to sleep in but this morning they're actually doing really good we got our shooter got up everything's good <laughs> We're good. Yeah, we told him five. It's the only way you can get him out. If you tell him 5.15, it'll be 5.30. Tomorrow morning will be worse. Last morning it just gets yeah, worse. Yeah, Tomorrow morning's pothole, though, so you got a little bit of gray, so you get him, you get to, you end up with a half an hour extra because you're just trying to get the hunters out. OK, boys, let's go. Uh, heading up this morning, give Mel a hand setting up. Yesterday was windy and a bunch of hunts kind of went to went in the tank, so we're a little bit low on hunts right now. So Mel's hunting out the east end. This is the far end of our area, so I'm gonna start out in that area spotting. So we'll go a little early, give him a hand setting up. It's supposed to be windy, to set putting up a big spread for him. So we'll give him a hand first, and then go from there and start our way. Uh, start at the far end and work our way back spotting. So. Heading out early this morning. You can take a rack. Yeah, the longer you put it out, that's when they start spilling air is when they hit those decoys. So the longer you put it out, the better shape you're in. Okay, this morning what we're gonna do is we're doing a teardrop, basically, with a nice big hook on the end of it. Get them following in. Uh, the boys are dressing the blinds right now. Brad and I are putting in decoys. Brad, come and give me a hand, thank goodness. I mean, it's it's always great when you have them. Say I got enough shields. You do. Well, when you hunt with mail, you bring more shields. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Heavy metal. Pretty much the best. He's ready to roll. Looking good. It's gonna be a good one here today, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I know. Looking good. Get him! Get him! Good shot. Go, go, go! Get right back in. Right in front. Get, kill him. This little bunch is gonna come right around. Two more in front. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh. 
Zach is in front. Go. Get right down. Go, go. Good luck. Okay. All right, man. I'll talk to you. All right, buddy. Bye bye. Mel needs to concentrate on getting some ducks down. That's the problem. He's got ducks there. He's got the volume to get it done. So sometimes when you got that e collar up loud, it causes the ducks to be funny. That's probably part of the problem. Uh, Mel is at, what was he saying? Eight ducks, eight darks, and 20 or 30 snows. Not the start we thought. Um, I wish he'd said 20 ducks at least. I haven't seen 300 birds yet. Okay. I have All right. no idea where they are. All right, buddy. And they're like coming off the water and they're going. They're not even coming close to them. Hmm. All right. He's single there, but that's it. So now everyone can look for combos for this afternoon because it looks like it's a rough start this morning. Time to make some miles. Hello. 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 snows and one two three four eight specs and I don't know if we're we shot more ducks yeah but I don't know if. 85 snows 10 ducks and eight specs 103 boys not bad Decline on the Silverado today, gentlemen. Uh, we could have let a few more birds work. These guys like shooting long shots, so that's cool. They can do it. Uh, we'd have let a few more birds work. We'd probably have 20 more, but they'd rather shoot, you know, they have more fun doing that, so that's cool. And they're good at it, really good at it. So, yeah, no, it was a fun hunt. The snows absolutely did it. Uh, the specs a little shyer, like the maybe needed a few more dark decoys, but uh, the ducks, the ducks, they'd they'd come in right till they were just about there, and then they'd slide off. So I don't know what was going on there. There could be a couple of things, uh, just positioning and stuff, and who knows? You know, we don't know. If we knew, we'd get them. <laughs> But no, it was really good overall. Yeah, I think the guys had a great time, so really that's all that matters. So this morning, uh, kind of a little bit of an off morning. Both guys went out with intentions of getting their duck limits with, um, with some geese or a bunch of geese. Um, Jeffrey, it seems, had a little bit of troubles this morning. Uh, not many ducks. I haven't heard from him to know how he did on his geese. And now I'll struggle with ducks. He had lots of ducks, but they just weren't doing it. He had a pretty big snow goose spread out. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. So, short on ducks, both guys. Um, Claudio's got a snow goose hunt for this afternoon that if he gets, will probably forego the rest of the duck limit, just going on the goose hunt. And uh, Jay's putting a bed to bed. Well, putting to bed. He's watching uh, Canada goose hunts, some lessers and some graders. And lots, lots, a good volume on it. But I don't think he has a lot of ducks either on that. And uh, I'm just sitting here watching this one here. That 
was a pleasant surprise. It's got a bunch of snows. I thought I was looking at a Canada hunt with ducks. And it seems it's a, a big snow goose hunt with some ducks. Canada's on the north end, but with the volume of snows here, uh, we'll probably target the snows. Claudia's good to go. Jay's good to go. If he needs to go, I'm good to go. So we're in good shape. We'll decide when we get back for lunch. The guys are packing up now, so we want to get out early today So because we got wind very heavy winds this afternoon so we want to be out and set up decently early so it'll be a quick turnaround today storm tonight uh, we we're all set up by 3 30 and by 4 o'clock you could see the dust rolling in and it was bad the power's out at the lodge blew down over our we were in the stand-up blinds and blew them right over they were skipping across the field all the decoys were gone birds never flew we had two flights come in we shot a 10 birds I believe I don't know, everything's chaos right now my trailer's a mess Brad just got back, same deal with him, we pulled the plug, he's trying to get in right now, so I guess um, Mel and uh, Claudio and Jeff all have duck options for the morning, just hope it's better than tonight. Because we're packing up so fast, right, that we just threw everything in, things are blowing around, we're running across the field trying to get them. It was chaos, man. That was the worst in 18 years. I've had windies, but not like, not, not windy nights like that. Not get up like that. Holy crap. We should just leave our doors closed and walk away. And we'll come out because they all will be hunting and Jeff will be hunting. And they'll open up the back and they'll be screaming like little girls. Yeah, let's go. Jay! It's windy. Today is absolutely crazy. I mean, the wind was, I don't know, tornado-ish, hurricane-ish, for lack of a better word. So, I mean, it's it beyond violent wind. The guys were, Jay had decoys flying away. Um, Brad had socks pulled out and tumbling down. I mean, it was just chaotic. And one of the hunters actually videotaped I got a couple little things. I mean, you gotta look, you gotta just look at this. Look, look at, look at this. So that's already flipped over. And then I'll show you another one right away here too. So there's one. I laugh and just watch this. And I'll show you the next one. So watch the guy on the right. Watch this. Watch this. He gets up. He gets up. <laughs> So he gets up, and this is Kyle. He's like a 32-year-old, buff, able-bodied guy. The wind blew him over. I mean, that's pretty pretty windy. And I, I mean, I think, I don't know, we ended up killing, Jay killed 11 or 12 geese, and, and then Brad killed the same. They just decided to pack it in. The hunters were actually concerned for their safety. It was so windy. But we're set for the morning. Two duck hunts, we're gonna play it safe. There should be 80 dead ducks on the ground by, you know, 10 o'clock tomorrow. We'll get these guys and Yeah, the wind's out of the west, everything's looking good. We'll throw out, you know, 60, 70 decoys, simple duck set up, get the guys to dress the blinds a little bit, and we're gonna be good to go. We still got, you know, 40 minutes, so we should be good. Yeah, it's nice, it's relaxing to me. Hey, watch these ducks. <laughs> watch these ducks, watch this speck. Kill it. Get down, guys, ducks. Ducks, get down. Watch these ducks, let them come around. Beat them up. Get 
Get right back in, guys, because three coming in on the right. Kill him, boys, kill him. Well, get in. We got to get our ducks. You don't need many more ducks anyway. Just let them get right in our face, guys. Beat them up, beat them up. Okay, get, get in again, boys. Here's another big fight. Right in front, right in front, right in front. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him, guys, kill him. Let's pick up, see what we got. It went great. We're, we're done in about 20 minutes. He just picked up the other one. We're limited up. That was awesome. We actually got uh, six, seven bonus specs. We could have had lots of specs. We had a field rig, but we didn't come here for that. We're wham, bam, and we're out of here. So it's awesome. Get them back for breakfast. Uh, sounds like the group's gonna be in here right away. Looks like they had a really good day out there and uh, they're gonna come in for some breakfast, uh, some good old K&K &K sausages and a uh, nice little breakfast menu for them today. You got them quick, huh? Oh God, real quick. Quickest hunt of the season, nine o'clock and we're home and we're hanging them, it's awesome. Well, I saw you on the text, no ducks yet. And I was about to text you and go, go get there. And then it's like, done. I go, nice. <laughs> All right, I got to get these guys set. Good All job, right, man. Bye -bye. Got a little bit of everything here. Pintails, flowers, wedges.